Hmm. Hello, guys here, the Lost Vikings. Um, yeah, I'll, uh, stuff in the description about how voting worked out. And let's see, I've seen just a little gameplay of this. I think during an SG or a GDQ, I, I won't claim it was summer. It might have been the awesome games done quick. And I also read the manual this morning. So we're starting a new game. Yeah, because I, I looked up the manual online. I couldn't find a PDF, but somebody transcribed it as text. All right, Eric the Swift you can run. He's Swift. All right, the entire plot was in the instruction manual, so um, I I guess I already know this, but we'll watch it. I can probably skip with start. But, like, A, B, X, Y don't do anything to advance the text. Just in case you were wondering. Alright. So, yeah. I'm aware that this is like a puzzle game. Sort of like trying, except you don't share a position. And only one of the characters, I believe, can actually kill enemies. The one with the sword and the bow. But I mean, we've done three-person puzzle action before. So this is a really good demo of what sort of things you can do. Rip. Uh, can you stand on the shield? Ah! Oh yeah, that, he's the only one that can jump, isn't he? Alright, so they got all the meat. They're good at video games. This is a pretty long intro movie. Wait, did they just go around the whole world? I'm pretty sure they only went right and arrived back at their village. I mean, you, you saw that, right? <laughs> okay, later that night. Everybody's getting captured. Because I'm not really sure what you would do about that. <laughs> so now we've got to travel through time and space to get back to the village. And that's the plot. And there are at least 37 levels. I know this because the last page of the instruction manual had places to put the passwords you get in the game. And the last slot it had was for level 37. Alright, we've got a bad feeling about this. Alright. I'm pressing A. Or no. My buttons are mixed up. Er, no, they're not mixed up. They're, they're in SNES orientation. Oops. I'm really bad at video games. So I don't need to get the swift guy up here at all. And I, I just felt like losing hit points, apparently. Alright, let's see. Got it. Pow! <laughs> Super Bomberman level end music, because this game apparently doesn't have level end music. 
All right, we got the great password. Okay. So if I wanted to use this item, except I don't, I could have pressed X there. Why am I bringing the swift guy out first? Because he can scout the fastest, I guess. Can I? Whoa, I can grab ladders in the air. It seems overpowered. friendly since you're trapped oh yeah you look awfully happy the janitor you want to know how to get out of here we got to destroy the ship's computer okay we don't recognize that it's a boat and we got to find bombs to blow up the computer so I know there's a way to give items to your allies um, B button? yeah also destroy items that way. Okay. Yeah, I did not memorize the instruction manual, so I don't know what all the buttons are. I just know what all the things you can do are, and I vaguely remember the buttons. So yeah, this guy only has one action. He can change the position of his shield. I would like that dead. You. You can't jump, but do this! We can push all the buttons and get all the bombs. Use the second bomb in case you mess up. Stand on the elevator and move up and down. Oh! <laughs> so you don't have to hold the button to keep going. But. Can reverse direction. Okay. Okay. Oh! Arrows can toggle switches. Figured out the puzzle here, guys. I wonder if I can fall that far? Oh, well, let's let's try it out. Okay, it hurts. Boom! Switched. Oh wait. Oh, okay, that's not a wall. I was like, why did we need to come here? Okay, this looks like a computer. Um... Oh yeah, that's not the X button. Uh... Hmm. Maybe there's something I'm not getting. Oh, okay. You don't press X while you're in the item stuff thing. Plutonian security? Alright. I, I can deal with croutons. Let's get them both on the elevator to save time. So up here... Wait. No, down here. This is where we couldn't go before. So the exit's probably this way. Whoa! That's why we bring the one that actually has an attack that kills enemies. Oh. Oh, that's bad. That's really bad. Okay, so, uh... Do I just reset now? I know the start button can let you, like, retry levels. So, I should have brought the one with the shield as well. Or backed off as soon as I saw a turret. That would have been a good idea. Okay. Maybe since I have healing items, I can, like, walk over and do something. Oops. Oh! What? Secret area. Alright. I don't know, he didn't really leave a corpse. I guess I'm still investigating the rest of the level. Wow, there are like so many turrets. There's the 
there's the exit. We can't really get by these guys effectively. But we can get by them. Just, you know, not effectively. This. Oh! We just win! Or do we? That looks like a funeral. Okay, yeah, we've got to try again. Okay. Once more, with more success. I don't think I actually need to talk to this guy again. But, um, I did it. Alright, actually, wait. For now, we just need this guy. Oh, I didn't have enough range. I remember there was a guy there. Okay. Oh, I didn't get the bombs! <laughs> Pro gameplay. the correct button. <laughs> Boom! I don't really feel we need to talk to that alien again. Okay, I can just switch as soon as the elevator starts moving, right? So we're just we're just gonna bring everyone so we have who we need. Plus, you know, saving time. This is the worst of all speedruns, but it's apparently a speedrun. Okay, I can't access the secret from this side. I know I could have pressed A, but I uh, forgot which button to press. Or something like that. Alright, so this swift guy is pretty useless on this stage. I didn't see anything that we needed him for. At least it doesn't take him very long to get places. Alright, can I destroy the turrets? No. Alright, so you just... Alright, pro gameplay. Okay, nothing secret over there. door in the way. Alright, now the sword! Ha! Ah. Oh wait. Uh, uh, making mistakes. Okay. <laughs> Fine, don't worry about it. Okay, we need a map. Okay, good password. Secrets, secrets. Okay, let's just get everyone on the elevator, because why not? Alright, Eric Swift. Oh, that attack can bash enemies. Okay. Okay, but for now, we just have a barrier. It, did I... Okay. So it takes a, a little startup time. And you have to have already been running for a bit before you hit the Y button. Alright, looks like we need to shoot a switch. Uh, 
it. Okay. Oh, that looks decidedly one way. Alright, must use a key from the inventory. Yes, and we can glide. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm an alien. Alright. Collecting unique life forms. Sounds like a great guy. Okay. Looks like we need arrows again. And I'm just gonna bring this guy because uh, I selected him first. Because I'm only switching characters with the R button. <laughs> Eventually, I may want to cycle backwards. Oh. Time for our running crash boom bang attack. Except the Franklin badge won't reflect it because it's not lightning. Hashtag Earthbound. I use hashtags in speaking and typing like Skype messages way more than actually on social media. Okay. Alright, so this technique that was demoed before we even did level one, it's actually useful. Oh. Um, there's no way to kill that enemy, isn't there? I don't imagine you would get a running start here. gonna be able to save both of them from damage. Alright, so let's uh, get a little closer. I assume I can kill that thing. I don't want to have it run into the guy with the shield just in case the shield only blocks ranged attacks. Pow! Pow! Ow. It's fine. So, what's this thing do anyway? I'm just gonna use it here, I guess? Oh, okay, it's a super bomb. Since I was looking at a text trans trans uh, transcription of the instructions rather than the actual instruction manual, it didn't have the images of the items. Alright, dibs on the helmet, but I want the boots. Or something. I don't know who was actually speaking, because I haven't gotten used to their text colors. I will remark that later in the game, there aren't passwords for every stage. So, password 37 being the last one in the list doesn't mean that there are only 37 levels. Does that mean that I have a listing in the instruction manual of what stages there are passwords for? Oh, I thought for sure there would be a button over there. Okay, so... Could get the swift guy off to the left, but nobody else can go over there. This music is pretty good. Okay. Jump! Okay. Oh. I guess I could jump off the elevator while it's in motion. Yeah, in fact, that does very much seem to be what you want to do. Alright, what's it? Oh, I want that key. I'm gonna get, like, shot at. It's fine. So I can use the key. Do I want to teleport without my allies, though? I might also want to use that elevator. Like, what's, what's up this elevator? Because it's less one way than a teleporter. Oh, everybody else is up the elevator. I wonder how my audio balance is. You, like survive that probably by not being shot I bet the arrow ends exactly when the screen does oh uh... what so I know the levels failed but what what do you do about that if I just hold right here, do I make it through? Wow. 
I reacted incredibly badly. Right. However, you don't make it through there. I noticed some shoes up above me. I'm guessing I needed to use the, um, stand on the shield technique in order to grab the speed shoes, and then there's probably a button that turns off the stuff. Alright. So I guess this is maybe the last level of the episode. Who knows? Do, do, do. Okay. Going places, getting a key. I guess I could have just let the elevator keep going up. There's no way to get a shield guy over an enemy without having a higher area. Alright. Since the plan is kill enemies... Or kill enemy, whatever, close enough. I wonder if that's faster than climbing? Probably. Okay, so we need you through, and you're the next most important. And, uh, we don't stop in between the up arrows, even though there aren't up arrows in the middle here. We just keep going. Oh! Um, that's bad. So we do need to bring this guy right now. I, I apparently I am not gonna learn their names. Their names are now Sword, Shield, and Swift. Now we can safely raise the shield. And then jump. And I guess I probably have to use the item. With X. Oh! Wait. So it's like. What? Okay, it is turned off. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna need the shield if I'm gonna not take damage. Enemies do seem to stop at the shield, though. So, um... I'm not entirely clear on what that item I used was. It seemed like total invincibility. Or maybe those enemies only deal damage with their lasers? Maybe you can touch enemies. Except I bet the slimes deal contact damage. Alright. Maybe it leads back home. Let's go. Alright. Time and space vortex. So I've already lost track of what stage number I'm on, but I think I'm gonna end things off here. You know, cause like if I failed the stage, then it would take a while to redo and you know, I'm not, this is already a fine episode length. Anything above like 24 minutes is acceptable to me. I, yeah. I mean, I'll watch shorter episodes, but I like my own to be somewhere in the neighborhood of like 24 to half an hour. Anyway, that's enough rambling about the fact that I'm ending the episode. See ya!